Some people believe that they have to be stoned to death. What you got for us inside? Some people believe that they have to be hanged. Some people believe that they have to be thrown out from a big cliff or a mountain. And some believe that they have to be cut in half by sword. Homosexuality is punishable by death in Iran. The only disagreement between clergy is the method of killings. My name is Arsham Parsi, the executive director of the International Railroad for Queer Refugees. I'm from Iran and I live in Toronto, Canada. I was born in Iran as a gay man and I couldn't be who I am like uh, the rest of the LGBT community in Iran. According to Human Group, which was an Iranian LGBT group based in Stockholm, Sweden, that between 1979 and 2000, 4,000 people were executed in Iran because of homosexuality. In 2001, I find out that my newly friend, transgender, committed suicide by eating arsenic. I didn't know what I am going to do, but my activism started from that moment in 2001. رام تقریبا هفت سال اومدم کانادا تصمیمی که من گرفتم چهرم مشخص نباشه چند دلیل داشت اول اینکه خب ترس همیشه با ما هست حتی زمانی هم که شما قانونن هم و اینجا زندگی میکنی و طبق قانون اینجا هیچ مشکلی نداری ولی در یک شرایطی ما بودیم که هنوز هم من گاهی خواب میبینم و با یه ترس و یه خواب کابوس بیدار میشم که ریشش همون مشکلاتی تو گفته گذشته داشتیم طبق قانون این رابطه در ایران جرم و اثبات شدنش مجازاتش شلاق و اعدامه حتی اگر برای شما این موضوع پیش نیاد و قانونی با شما به خاطر این موضوع برخورد نکنن دونستن همین خودش باسه شکنجه روحیه My name is Bobak I'm 33 years old I've been in Canada for like 8 years Uh, so it's like oh, 10 years I'm outside of the country, outside of Iran. But it's still, like uh, now I'm talking about all of uh, what happened before. You know, not even talking about it, not even thinking about it. I still have like nightmares and dreams that, you know, I'm running away. People catch me, people beat me. I get that like once every two, three months still. Now, not even thinking about it. I guess they call it like PTSD. I was even kidnapped uh, uh, twice. I would actually, you know, I would uh, get beaten up and not saying like my uh, reality, like being trans. Uh, I would rather to get beaten up and then just telling them like, uh, you know, I'm not a straight man. My name is Hassi and I'm, I'm from Iran. I was uh, 25 that I decided to come to out of Iran. Mm, I don't know how can I explain that. I have to <coughs> act as a boy, actually. It was so difficult. Actually, I arrested in Iran just mm, two or three times 
because we are dressed as a woman it's in your mind forever you can forget that you can try to forget but it's in your mind forever because I did it a lot I became like so fast in a second oh well 30 seconds I was able to change from like like you know dressing from male to female or female to male but that was very stressful so just a simple thing like that غیر از اونم خب خب دوست ندارم باعث آزار خانواده‌ام شم میدونم گفتنش به هر طریقی یا فهمیدنش فقط باعث اذیت آزارشون میشه احتمالا با هم قهر رابطه کنم No, I can't explain that. It was so difficult. Sorry about that. I can't explain that, actually. If you've been born in, in a country like here, Canada or US or whatever, in Europe, it's kind of out of your imagination. It's like if there is, like if I just tell you that there is another, like a, a new color that you've never seen, like, I don't know, and it calls like pad, a color pad. You can never imagine, like, because you haven't seen it. When I came to Canada in 2006, I call it my second birthday because I was born again. And um, once I was born in 1980, September in Shiraz, Iran, and at that time I didn't have choices and I had to be someone that the society expect me to be. But when I came to Canada, I was born again and I had a lot of choices. I could be who I am. It's just not about sexuality, it's not about sex like the soon as you say lgbt the first thing comes well sure yeah it's the, the the main issue is the sex but it's just something so personal and uh, we have really like people who could really be successful like myself like i always wanted to be a doctor i could not back home and i still at the age of 33 i i, I still want and i'm kind of with the support i'm receiving i'm i'm taking steps and i'm i'm, I'm close <laughs> If someone called you and said, I'm hungry today, you can't tell that person that, okay, we are lobbying with the government and we hope in next two years, you know, we're going to provide food. That person is hungry right now. And we have to look at that case as urgent. Refugees for us is the same. If you like a comment, if you share a post on your social media, if you, um, you know, sign a campaign, you didn't, you know, you're, you're not done with your social responsibility. That is just one step. You have to do a lot of things. If we have $18,000, we can sponsor someone to come to Canada. I know $18,000 is a lot, but comparing to saving someone's life, it's basically nothing. I wish, I wish if I could get to a point that I'm gonna sit right on my face to the camera <laughs> and talk all about this even more details that I'm, I haven't even talked about now change is always possible but I hope that one day all of the transsexuals in the world will not be able to leave their country even if they are in the world if they want to live and if they want to live and if they want to live به کشور دیگه برن و مهاجرت کنن از روی اجبار نباشه فقط به دلخواه خودشون باشه